Stop wrestling. Stop striving. Try out what I recommend to you from the Holy Word of God. Why don't you ask Jesus to help you to bow your knees to Him? Why don't you ask Jesus to help you to take that basket off? This terrible weight, guilt, all these bondages, these evil habits, maybe drug addiction, maybe alcoholism, and maybe some sexual bondage. Why, would, why can't you say, Jesus, would you please be so kind? To help me unload. That's all. The moment you come to that point, you bow your knees to him. Jesus Christ, the son of God. Something fantastic is going to happen. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Your life will be renewed. You will not drive home tonight. You will float home. Amen. If anyone is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. Amen. A new creation. Amen. All things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. Amen. New. I looked in the yellow pages. I thought by myself, how do the people advertise in Germany? Is there anybody who advertises, I make all things new? I couldn't find anyone. In Germany, they can fix everything. America, they can send a man to the moon. But they cannot make all things new. Not Abraham could do it. Not Moses could do it. No one could do it. But here comes Jesus. Yeah. This is the Jesus to whom we bow. Say, Lord, forgive me my pride. My pride. Forgive me my pride. I bow my knees to you. I found this scripture in Amos. I will close with this. Amos. Amos the prophet was a shepherd. And I give his words to you back in my own words. This is what he says. He says the lion has caught a sheep. And the sheep is in the mouth of the lion. But that thus says the Lord. If one leg is still sticking out of the mouth of the lion and one ear is still sticking out on the other end of the mouth of the lion, I will save you. Yeah. If you still have one leg sticking out, Bow that leg, that knee, before Jesus. If you still have one ear with which you hear the gospel, this day will be your day of salvation. Amen. One young man said to me when I asked him, when are you going to get saved? He said to me, I'm 20 in my country. Life expectancy for man is 80. I still have got 60 years time to live a good life before I get saved. <laughs> Suddenly the Holy Spirit spoke to me. Shall I tell you what I said to him? Yes. I say, young man, you make a fundamental mistake. 
The border to eternity is never ahead of us. Never. The border to eternity runs parallel to life. And it can be stepped over any day. But the truth is, the border into the kingdom of God is also just one step away. You can now take that step. Ask Jesus to save you. And you miserable backslider. I love you. I don't know why people always have to slide away from Jesus. Why for a change can't you slide away from the devil? Man, this is very serious. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you are here. You've touched our hearts. We have heard the voice of the Good Shepherd, our Savior. Lord, you know how many carry a heavy, heavy burden. They came who came bowed with heavy weights in spirit and soul to this meeting. Lord, I pray, help them to ask you to come and lift that basket off their shoulder and help them to step now through the narrow door into the kingdom of God. While all heads are bowed, I want to say, there's someone here tonight. You say, I need to, I need to offload. I want Jesus in my life. I want him to save me, to set me free. I want to become a child of God. And you want me to pray for you. Just lift your hand as a sign. But I can see and pray for you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, God bless. Let Jesus see your hand. Come on, don't be shy. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. I would like everybody to stand, please. And I would like those who have raised their hands... Please come forward. I want to pray with you right here, right now. Only those who've raised their hands, please come forward. Please come forward. Hallelujah. This is the most holy moment here tonight. There's joy in heaven over one sinner that comes to repentance. God bless you. Just come, please. Just come. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you. 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 Please come forward. Just come forward. Here's room. There's room for you all, for us all. There's room at the cross for you. Though millions have come, there's still room for one. There's a room at the cross for you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Even if you didn't lift your hand. But you should have lifted your hand. Come as well. This moment is your moment of salvation. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Please look at me. I want to congratulate you. This is the most important decision in your life. To receive forgiveness of sins. And eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. And we will now call upon the name of the Lord Jesus in prayer. And ask him to lift, to lift your burden. To unload and to cleanse you from all sins. So that you receive him as your savior. 
you bow your knees symbolically to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and you shall be saved. You will be saved. Hallelujah. So, I would like to lead you in the prayer of salvation, okay? God doesn't really watch your lips. He watches your heart. If you pray from the bottom of your heart, the Holy Spirit will become active in your life and you will walk through that narrow door into the kingdom of God of peace and love and joy everlasting. I'm asking you to please close, close your eyes and lift your hands. I would like everybody to repeat this prayer in support of those who pray it here in front. Come on. Let's say, Dear Lord Jesus Christ, You know the basket I carry. I bow to you, the Son of the living God. I call upon your name. Jesus Christ, help me now to unload. Only you can do it. That's why I call upon your name. Jesus Christ, save my soul. I put my trust, my faith alone in you. And I believe with my heart what I speak with my mouth. Jesus is now my Savior. I have entered the kingdom of God. I belong to Jesus. And Jesus belongs to me. In the name of Jesus, amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Let me pray for all of you here in front. Lord, you know everyone by name. I break all curses in the name of Jesus. Family curses, traditional curses. I break all these curses. And I speak the blessing of Jesus Christ upon your life, your spouse, your children. In Jesus' name. Lord, let every addiction be broken. Set free from drugs. Set free from alcohol. Set free from compulsions. Set free, O oh Lord, from all that bondage that binds people. And I thank you that you have put a new heart into each and every one. Seal it now with your Holy Spirit. I bless every man. I bless every woman. I bless every boy. I bless every girl. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody shout amen. Amen. All right. Tonight, did you enjoy my preaching? Yes. Yeah. Amen. I tell you what. Tomorrow, I... I've got some more for you. You will be blessed. Amen. Well, I tell you, I told you, Jesus is here. We don't need to pull him here. He's here. He was here before you were here. He's here. And he goes with you. He's wherever you go. 
But the Jesus who saves is the Jesus who heals. Tonight I would like to do it the way we do it in Africa. Is that okay? Yes. See, in Africa I have crowds in front of me, right to the horizon. It's impossible for me to even leave the platform. Because if I do so, a stampede develops and, and terrible things can happen. As we once or twice witnessed, it was terrible. And I, I will not do it. But, I say to them, if I lay my hand on you, you'll be happy. But my hand is not the best hand. The hand of Jesus is the best hand. And when I stop praying here, Jesus moves among you. And you grab him by faith. Trust him for your healing. And immediately do something you couldn't do before. That's the test of your faith. Do you hear me? Yes. That is the test of your faith. And you will find that Jesus is faithful. I want to pray for the sick right now. You don't need to come forward now. You don't need to. I pray the way we pray in Africa. Tonight, okay? Tomorrow we pray again. Listen. That's what we say in Africa. Put one hand on the sick part of your body. On the sick part of your body. Do it by faith. And expect Jesus to touch you right there. It's not really necessary. It's just an act of faith. It's a point of contact. Say, Lord, this is where I need your help. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I tell you, I'm going to start praying now. And as the Holy Spirit directs me, I will, I will rebuke different sicknesses by name. And every time I say, in the name of Jesus, I want you to receive it with a big amen. That's how they do it in Africa. Every time I say, be healed from that and that and that in the name of Jesus, there comes a mighty amen. It's, 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 it's a response to our wonderful Jesus Christ. If you've got more sicknesses than you have got hands, I'm not joking, then just put one, head, one hand on your head. And I will ask Jesus to lay his hand on your hand. And that his power will go through your whole body from top to toe. Are you ready? Open your spirit for the Holy Spirit. I rebuke all unbelief. Blind eyes will open. Deaf ears will hear. And the mouths will speak. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The other hand lift up to heaven. Just for a few moments we are going to worship Jesus. Is that okay? Yes. Let's Jesus, let Jesus hear your voice. Come on. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Worship him. Oh Lord, I thank you. You reach out to each and every one, to the sickest. Oh Lord, let the sickest in our midst be healed tonight. I worship you, I worship you, I worship you, I worship you. Son of the living God, I worship you. Be healed from all eye diseases. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Deaf ears hear. In the name of Jesus. 
I'm all speak in the name of Jesus. No more stammering in the name of Jesus. Be healed from your heart disease. In the name of Jesus. You shall not die before your time. You shall fulfill your days in the name of Jesus. I come against every form of cancer, stomach cancer, lung cancer, tumors, brain tumors, intestinal tumors. Be healed from all cancers and tumors in the name of Jesus. Be healed from breast cancer. That cancer shall disappear instantly. You will no more need your surgery in the name of Jesus. Be healed from all respiratory diseases like asthma, pneumonia, all respiratory diseases must now go in the name of Jesus. Be healed from all mental diseases, depression, psychosis, every mental disease. I rebuke it and command it to depart in the name of Jesus. Amen. All paralysis, all paralysis shall now leave you. New life shall come into your limbs. New life. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. HIV positive turn into HIV negative. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. I thank you Lord that you heal from that bladder disease. That bladder shall hold the water. You will have full control. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be healed from your eczema. Skin diseases of every description. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I come against every pain. All pains. I come against every source of pain. And rebuke it and command it to leave you in the name of Jesus Amen. no more headaches no more back aches no more joint aches in the name of Jesus Amen. no more nightmares in the name of Jesus Amen. Holy Spirit you are here you know everyone here any cancerous growth oh Lord let it now disappear effects of accidents effects the Holy Spirit says to me effects of accidents shall now disappear in the name of Jesus you fell and your bones were broken they never healed properly they shall now move into the proper position and heal instantly in the name of Jesus Amen. Lord now lay your hand on the hand of everyone that is laid upon each head All those sicknesses that not, have not been mentioned yet, let your power flow through every 
body's body through the brain through the head the neck the shoulders the whole body to the sole of their feet I pray for those Lord those couples that, that so desperately would want a baby the Holy Spirit speaks to me barrenness will now turn into fruitfulness in the name of Jesus and you will rejoice in a year's time blessed be the name of the Lord come on receive your healing now by faith and do something you couldn't do before will you do that if you couldn't bend bend if you couldn't jump jump if you couldn't walk stand up and walk in Jesus name if you couldn't see look at me I'm right here couldn't hear, hear the word of the Lord. Jesus is still healing. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I know it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. How many of you know that Jesus has healed you right now? Hallelujah. If you have the evidence of your healing, if you can tell us what Jesus has done, come here forward. Tell us what Jesus has done right now. Come here, lady. Your hand. Up. What, what did Jesus do for you? The whole body, I got shaken, and I know that I'm totally healed. I was suffering acidity, stomach problem. And now I'm perfectly healed. Amen. She will have a good dinner tonight. And she will know. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Glory to God. Glory to God. God is working here. I can feel it. He's working here. He's working here. Let me ask you for the last time. How many of you know that you are healed? Just wave your hand like this. Praise God. Okay. Are you blessed? Thank you so much. I hand the microphone back to the pastor here, the senior pastor, Ashish Thomas. Thank you. God bless you. Take a seat. Yeah. I want the ushers to get ready. We're going to quickly do the offering. Okay. And uh, what we do that, what we normally do is we have our testimonies. We write it down. Or we send it by email or put it in the offering as well. And tomorrow we get time to share it too. Okay. So ushers, you ready? Come on. How great is our God. Sing with me. Is our God? Oh, all the sea, how great, how great is our God? How great is our God? Sing with me, how great. 
Father, as your word declares, that truly, when we bring our tithes and offerings before you, you will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that there will be no room to contain. Thank you, Lord, for what you will do, what you have done, and what we will experience from now and forevermore. For there shall be no lack of any good thing. You shall bless us with every good thing. Lord, and we thank you that this is so in Jesus' name. And we bless you, we worship you, and we thank you. We thank you for every miracle. We thank you for every healing. We thank you for the word of encouragement, the word of that boosted us up and reminded us of your truths. We thank you for your servant, and thank you for his love, and thank you for your love that you pour out on us. And we want to say thank you, Lord, that we can never, ever outgive you. And thank you for pouring out your love and love and love and love so much upon us, Lord. And we bless you and we want to thank you, Jesus, that you are so, so, so wonderful, so beautiful, so great. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we just got to.